Hello, welcome back to another episode of The Vampire Vet. This is episode 15. And uh, Ronnie's at home with his son George and all the animals. <laughs> and also his uh, husband Tyree is at work. And you will note that we have a new addition. Please welcome Puppy Mark. So Mark is named after one of the visitors to my channel. Fellow New Zealander. So this is Mark Leander Hero, and this is the the puppy of Leander and another. Well, Leander's not a full Alsatian kind of German Shepherd, but uh, yeah, uh, Mark's father is. <laughs> well, I don't know. They're both fathers. Um, well, one of Mark's other parent is uh, is Hero. Who's a full German Shepherd uh, that I actually downloaded downloaded from the the gallery? Um, so yeah, what's happening in the household? George is still trying to get his thinking skill up by playing some Sim Shape. And interesting fact about George is that uh, he is only a few days away from aging up to being a child. <laughs> So that's pretty cool because uh, Sims don't usually age up in my world because <laughs> the aging is so slow, so it takes a while. But yeah, he, he needs to uh, hurry up learning his uh, thinking skill because it's one of his lowest. Um, he also needs to work on movement, but that kind of just happens anyway. Um, but yeah, and imagination as well. Not sure if there's anything else for him to play with here that can help with that. Probably there is, and I just don't remember. But yeah, he can, he can always use the tablet that he's got because it seems to teach every skill. Which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a parent or anything, but it just seems wrong that a kid could learn so much from a tablet. Um, when I was a kid, I did so many other things than just look at a tablet. And I do wonder if nowadays, if maybe kids do look more at uh, electronic devices, uh, you know, than I did. When, well, for a start, there was no electronic devices that was suitable for a kid when I was a kid. Um, the closest thing would be a radio. And even that, of course, I couldn't use it myself. I, I'd have to have an adult turn it on um, and watch a bit of TV. If I was lucky, uh, that's about it uh, for me as a toddler. Anyway, let's get on with that. But before I do, let me just say that uh, my goals for today are... First thing, I'd like to try and see if I can get uh, Rodney's Vampire Law up a bit. Because he needs to be level 14 to get uh, the recipe to make the reconfiguration draft. Um, which allows him to change his vampire powers. Uh, and yeah, and it would be nice if I could get George to get his skill up. So I, I want to play here a little while first. And then we, let's have a proper look at uh, Mark. Because uh, we don't really see him, did we? Hang on a second, let me drop down into this camera view. Yeah. Mark is basically a puppy, and it's very hard to tell when they're puppies what they're going to look like. Because they do look very similar, but you can see he's got... I think... probably I can't tell if he's got Hero or Leander's colouring. I think he is more uh, German Shepherd than Leander is. Uh, so yeah. It'd be interesting seeing him grow up. But since he's only just been born, it's going to be a while. Oh look, what do we have here? <laughs> it's Leander! Oh, how cute! What are they gonna do? I feel like I'm just watching these two now. Who cares about uh, the vampire vet and his family anymore? Look how Leander watches him! Isn't that cute? Are they gonna interact? I think they kind of are, aren't they? Well, they're not actually touching I think the game thinks they probably are. The way Leander's kind of pouring. I'm sure he's not pouring at me. He must be pouring at the puppy. That bit, little puppy Mark. Oh, look, he's licking him. Definitely interaction there. So cute. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the star of the show. Um, 
Where is he? Vampire bitch. Ah, oh, he's down here now too. So yeah, but he needs to get his uh, vampire skill up. Uh, do I have the compendium volume 3 here? No, I don't. So yeah, he has to go and order that. I probably have it somewhere. Because I think uh, you may remember his skills, his uh, vampire level skill was much higher. And he does actually have the the ultimate vampire compendium. Um, but I reduced it because that was about because I wanted to basically make him less experienced as a vampire uh, than he actually is because I felt like it didn't seem right that he was already quite an experienced vampire when I started the series but then the thing is you know you can't actually really reduce the vampire powers uh, it's just I looked into it, it doesn't seem to be possible um, so yeah, also he has his aspiration, Master Vampire Aspiration, to get through, so he needs to defeat two vampires in combat. So I'm thinking roughly something like, he can stick around here and do some reading, once I actually get him to do it. And, uh, first of all, let me check, has he got the book already on his uh, shelf? Possibly he does. He's got one, because yeah, I just stuck it in there. Um, yeah, there's volume three. So cool, he can read that. Reread. Okay, so he uh, remembers that he's read it before, but he isn't that skill level yet. There's actually increasing it. Good. Okay. Just looking, oh, laser silliness. And he's also very thirsty, so it might be good for him to go and find a, a tasty snack. He was just thinking about his grandmother. Um had a blank there. Her name was Scylla. Uh, yeah. And just paused while it loads up all the Sims in the relationship panel. I just, I can't believe that I'm letting it play while I do something. Strange, huh? I'm just looking through. I don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's a bit of pausing going on. It's probably because of the new way that I'm recording. Um, basically, I used to record the game and my webcam in the same screen or in the same program. But now I record them separately, so I re it allows me to be able to resize the webcam when I'm editing it. So, like, for example, at the very start, uh, there's... Uh, you know... I can make it a bit bigger, like I did in one of my episodes of Angel and Alien just recently. And then I can I can move it around easier as well, so I won't have this problem anymore with uh, the webcam being on top of... It's interesting. Red, ugh, Rodney read that really powerful vampires sometimes pass down their experience to Sims they turn. Well, that is very interesting to know, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, so the thing is, I don't really want to turn many Sims in my legacy world because otherwise, you have you end up with a whole lot of different Sims that don't age up, and I think that's a bit annoying. And you know, there's going to be a point where I mean, how old is Tyree now? Tyree is he's a young adult, and it's going to be a while till he's an, an adult at 34 days, so quite a while, like I don't know. I would guess six episodes, seven episodes <laughs> or so. Um, well, he should probably look after his garden. I don't know, nothing needs to be done. Well, because I haven't actually been playing it, the, the trees haven't moved on. But he doesn't have to go to the loo, so we can get him to do that. Oh, look, I've paused. What a surprise. Um, he also needs some food, but uh, I'm a bit scared of him using the oven. <laughs> so let's see if there's already some stuff in there. I think there is. Yeah, there's well, there's these. I'm not going to pronounce those, but there's some of those, and um, uh, he could have those. But I think he isn't. He doesn't have enough uh, Salvadoradian culture skill yet, so he can't really have them. So how about what time of the day is it? Three seventeen. Let's have some mergers instead. 
and yeah, nice to see that he's got a couple of pip hoops in his uh, inventory. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, it's a toddler's book. That's cute. So yeah, he's going to eat that, and I think he's going somewhere. I think he's probably coming up here to be with his family, which is nice, isn't it? Let's see. Is he? Yes, he is. So Rodney read that talented vampires can turn other sims into vampires. Well, no surprise there. A mortal sim can even ask a vampire to turn them, provided they know the vampire well enough. I know all that. But yeah, it's good It's good that they have this kind of introduction to how to use vampires. So you finished with reading then. What's happened there? Oh, he needs to feed uh, rather urgently. And uh, it looks like Tyree burnt himself on the the murgers so yeah and how's george going he must have leveled up on his skill he did um maybe we could switch him over to do something else is walking the only way to get movement up no you can do blocks nesting blocks dancing play wrestling with adults play wrestling i don't know if i've ever seen that so this is the thing i love with the game is that sometimes you these things happen and i don't you know, I haven't seen them before. I don't think I've seen play wrestling. Do they not have a stereo? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Unless I'm blind, I can't see one. There's not one here, is there? Maybe there was one and they sold it, you know, because they need to pay their bills and stuff, speaking of which. If they get bills now, they're, they're in trouble. But no, I don't think they have a stereo, so he can't do dancing. Um, okay, so he can do nesting blocks. So let's stack some nesting blocks. I want to break him away from doing some shape basic because otherwise he'll get a bad moodlet from that. Ah, That's sweet, isn't it? They have a little embrace and then it's straight back to the sausage. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. It's just that's how it came out. Well, that is a sausage. Anyway. Um, so Mark is hungry, you can help him by giving him a treat or filling up a food bowl. Well, I'm sure there is one down here, isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, maybe not. So you can definitely fill that up. I don't know Leander's age, but I think he's a bit older. Actually, we'll use Master Control. Uh, sorry, MC Command Center to have a look. Yeah, he's only two days away from becoming an, an elder. So yeah, maybe that Leander won't be here with us for very long. So he's filled up the bowl, which is good, and hopefully, uh, ah, he can teach that. Um, well, he could teach that, but I really want him to learn more vampire skills. So let's get back onto that. Um, one that's his journal. We don't do that. What's in that mysterious box? Let's have a look at that. And did he put the? Let's stick that in his inventory. Did he put the compendium away? I think he did. An item. It's so fluffy. Okay. Squeak a toy. Okay. Let's put it on the floor for um. For little. Is it Alan? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, kind of forgotten the kitten's name, but I haven't played for a little while. Um, by the way, doesn't she look so cute? Okay, I've got to do a screenshot. You know me in screenshots. So cute. And her colouring is unique, you know, it's this kind of pinky colour. Very cute. But yeah, I think I mentioned it already, but her sister Eva has gone to live with Rodney's parents. So we'll see her again some at some some point. Probably also at the very least uh, in the clinic sometime. Um, actually, so first of all, I need to get this level three book out of here again. Yeah, because uh, I just want to have it on his inventory. You could put the vampire level two book away. You could. I'll keep her, um, I'll keep her, what you call it, how many of those do I have? Quite a few. Let's sell them. <laughs> sell one. Take that one. And I'm going to sell that one as well because Tyree has the same book. 
I'm just curious now, can writers, maybe someone, some of you can answer this, can writers now write toddler books? If so, that's cool. Um, I don't know if you, you might not remember or you never saw it, because uh, you might not have seen the, the uh, my original, my first Let's Play, which was a few episodes of The Angel Family. Um, Wendy Angel has her Rodney and Ruby's mum is a writer. I would love her to write some toddler's books, that'd be cool. So yeah, I hope I get a chance to play with Wendy again before she leaves us, as it were. Um, so Rodney seems determined not to read the book. I don't know if I actually gave him the command to. Probably that was the problem. What's that? Catnip based calming agent, okay. So <laughs> First of all, let me just check if these trees now require... Yes, they need some watering. So you can do some watering. And then I think he needs to update his social media. He's not doing it right now, is he? Yes, he is. He's doing it right now, and I've just made him stop it. Probably. Oh, good. Now he's going to do it anyway. Oh, he didn't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, he can do that straight after he's done the watering. So it might, might be no, it might be a couple of minutes before I can't talk today. It might be a couple of minutes before he uh, gets to the clinic because I do want him to get to the clinic uh, today. Because otherwise, well, I know people like seeing the family stuff, but I like uh, a bit of clinic action as well. But yeah, he really needs to have something to eat. Maybe he can convince someone to come in. Who's that? Isn't I think it's a stray. See, and the mod that I used to stop strays uh, was causing some issues. Um, yeah, I'm just basically looking for someone to munch on, <laughs> as it were. Uh, actually, there's usually someone around here, but there's like there's no one around. What has happened? Where is everyone? I've just got this great idea. <laughs> It's gonna sound really terrible. I was thinking, why doesn't he order in a takeaway? And I mean, like, well, he could order like a pizza and see, you know, what the pizza boy's like or girl. <laughs> um, or he could just order a friend to come, you know, order a friend. <laughs> I mean, oh gosh, I feel awful now. Uh, he could just invite a friend around, like one of his uh, regular victims. Pedro is quite a good victim. <laughs> that sounds awful. This person is a good victim? What are you talking about, Fremlin? Um, or, like, uh, this guy I think is a, a Salvadoradian. Uh, maybe you could order, like, order in some Salvadoradian. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but kind of funny. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, well, he has to, he has to eat something. So, why don't we go with that? Uh, there's no one else, like, uh, it's really jumping out. Let's, in, let's invite the Salvadoradian around and uh, have a little snack. Where is he? Sergio. Can I invite him around? I don't think I can. Now, you can actually summon a sim with uh, MC Command Center, so let's do that. Summon sim. Sergio Herrera will be right over. Okay, good. He's got no idea. He's like, hi. Sorry to call you away from Salvadorada, but I'm hungry. You're what? I'm hungry. Right? And? And? You'll do. I wanted to, eat, I wanted to have some local Salvadoradian treats <laughs> without going all the way there. Okay, so he has to invite him in. Which is good because then you know you can't drink plasma outside. Um, I think he must already be invited, and the, the cheat must do that. So there's a bit of pausing going on in my game. I mean, like it's been a bit unresponsive. I don't know if it's a mod or because of the way I'm. See, it's pausing again now. Yeah, weird. And again. Anyway, this guy's gone all the way in during uh, that pausing. So look, let's um, first of all let's complement his outfit, 
And let's drink some plasma. Capel for a deep drink. Yeah, we do we do want a deep drink. It's like, where did he go? We have to go back upstairs, Rodney. Okay, let me put those walls down. I keep putting them up again. So Tyree is going to update his social media setup. It's paused again. Oh, no. Um, and Rodney is having a chat. Is he still going to compel him? I hope so. Let's cancel the chat. Meanwhile, George is using the potty on his own. Okay, it's working. Social media status updated. 20 new followers. That's great. So yeah, he's having a Salvadoradian treat. He's having like a Salvadoradian takeaway. I feel terrible, but... Oh well. <laughs> So, what does uh, Tyree need to do actually? Let's, we should probably keep watching them because it's so rare that he actually feeds. Sorry to take the camera away, I didn't mean to do that. Sergio's like, huh? So yeah, let, just leave Sergio there now. Rodney. <laughs> uh, first of all, George is hungry and tired. Um, let's give him something to eat. Food to George. Um, how about. Uh, I, I feel really bad giving cheese crackers to a toddler. How about something like ham and cheese sandwich? It's a bit more substantial. And, uh... Oh, Terry's working out. Okay, well, that's good. You have to put him in there as well. Put George here. Oh, good, he is. He is already. I don't want George going to sleep. Uh, look at Leander. Leander's sitting on the poor guy's head, sleeping on him. It looks like some kind of werewolf. <laughs> some kind of deformed werewolf. Okay, George, you can start eating now. Oh, he already is. That, it doesn't need me to actually play the game because it's doing it itself. And then I get, you know, I kind of hope for better personalities. And then I get kind of frustrated when they actually use their, their intelligence to look after themselves. I don't know. Anyway, why are you... he's got like a kind of... I do this face a lot because I've got big... I've got a big lower lip. <laughs> it's like a blah 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 lip. <laughs> why is he upset? I don't think he's a... Oh, I think it's just... I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's like he's not happy. But he's still kind of locked in this compel action. I'm gonna uh, reset him and yeah he's better now uh, but yeah we need to get to the clinic did you update your social status? Yes you did didn't he? Yeah everything is complete but he's still level one social media uh, media intern oh no the little cats are fighting Like play fighting. I bet you one of them was playing with the new squeaky toy. But you know, this one is kind of purpley. Purpley grey. So maybe that's where the colouring came from. Um, anyhow. <laughs> so, clinic time. Let's get to the clinic and uh, I'll see you there momentarily. So I realized that I had recorded far too much footage for this episode, so I actually had to split the episode here, and you'll see the rest of what was the rest of episode 15 in episode 16. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back to see another episode soon. Bye bye!